In the Zudzanski district of the Kursk region, military personnel opened fire on a Lada Priora car in which there were two local residents. The 21-year-old passenger was wounded and hospitalized, Baza writes. The incident occurred on the evening of July the 24th near the village of Martinovka. According to eyewitnesses, the shooters were driving a car with the Z symbol and were dressed in military uniform. FSB officers detained four military personnel in the Kocheguri tract. All of them were intoxicated. The shooters, who shot at the civilian car with two people inside, were taken to the Sudza Police Department. The Military Investigative Department of the Russian Investigation has launched an investigation. This is not the first such incident. On June the 13th, Russian servicemen fired at a car with civilians for refusing to stop at a checkpoint in the village of Lyubechani in the Bryansk region. As a result, two people were injured and hospitalized. Juvenile prosecutors of the Prosecutor General's office have sent to court an indictment against a Russian soldier who shot a car with civilians in Bucha, Kiev Oblast, the Prosecutor General's office reported on Telegram. It is noted that the accused is a 24-year-old deputy commander of a combat vehicle, gunner operator of the 76th Guards Air Assault Division of the Chernihiv Airborne Forces of the Russian Armed Forces. The investigation established that in March 2022, during the occupation of the city, he shot two civilian cars that were trying to evacuate from the combat zone. In particular, while traveling as part of a convoy of military equipment, he opened fire with a 30mm automatic cannon of an airborne assault vehicle at the cars carrying seven civilians, including two children. Four civilians were reportedly killed in the incident, a mother, two children aged five and ten, who were in the first car, and their neighbor who was riding in the second car behind them. Three other people sustained injuries of varying degrees, and the father of the shot family had his left shin amputated due to severe injuries. It is noted that during the attack, civilian cars were parked on the side of the road, did not move in the direction of the military convoy, and did not pose any threat. According to official information, at least 12,700 civilians have been killed since the beginning of the full-scale Russian invasion, including 562 children. Колес проткнем. Ёбаный. Ёбаный в рот. Кирзач, надо уходить. Что-то железяку оттащить надо. Давай, давай. Вот эту, слева которая. И вот эту, которая с огнем, получится ногой откинуть. Бля, Герзач, там мина лежит, стой. Там мина лежит, ёпта. Где? Вон. Вон мина. Как нам проехать, блядь? Смотри. Вот. Вот это круглое? Да. Так я ее пинал только что. Две мины нахуй. Это точно мины? Да. Бля, я ее пинал только что ты не видел? Нет, не видел. Three Russian Shahid drones attacking Ukraine have crossed the Romanian border, the Ukrainian armed forces have reported. The commander of the Ukrainian armed forces air forces, Nikolai Olshchuk said 25 attack UAVs were shot down over Ukraine on the night leading to July 25th. Some 38 drones attacked Izmailsky district in Ukraine's Odessa region over the night, the Ukrainian air forces reported. The location of three more Shahid drones could not be identified after crossing the state border with Romania, Olshchuk said. Romanian media showed the aftermath of a drone crash, but it is unclear whether this is the result of yesterday's attack or the attack that took place the day earlier. On Wednesday, an air alert sounded on the Romanian territory bordering Ukraine due to a UAV attack. 
It should be noted that two people were injured as a result of debris falling on a private house in Odessa.